Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mid Journey video. So today we're gonna see how you can go ahead and create artistic horizons with Mid Journey. So artistic horizons are those artistic practices which can basically include painting, drawing, photography, sculpture, digital art, and much more. So today we'll see how you can create those kind of arts with Mid Journey and create those amazing results that are actually capable enough to sell on different platforms. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, so here I am in my mid-journeys. So yeah, take a look at this first image, you guys. So this is a beautiful depiction of a portrait of a woman whose form is not traditionally human. So you guys can see this is a very excellent depiction of what you can say is an artistic horizon, right? So we have like abstract shapes inspired by nature. Uh, the woman is composed of organic, flowing like wines, and all those important details. So... If you guys are artists, a painter, or you know, belong to any kind of these industries, so you guys would know like how beautiful uh, Mid Journey has created these images. Like, take a look at this one, uh, then the second one. This looks absolutely fantastic, as well as the third one and the fourth one, right, guys? And similarly, if you take a look at this image, so this image is basically an excellent depiction of a woman dressed in traditional Chinese attire, standing in a garden filled with cherry blossom trees and pagodas. Uh, the scene is actually depicted in Kynosri style. So yeah, these styles are basically very important for the people who basically are familiar uh, with the artistic styles, artistic designs and everything. So yeah, these images are beautiful depiction of Kynosri style, right? And so you know, Lee, take a look at this. Wow, this looks absolutely fantastic. So yeah, we have now a cat launching on a floating cloud surrounded by a sky filled with fish, yeah? So it's a very beautiful hypothetical image. So the scene basically defies logic and reason, creating a dreamlike atmosphere that embodies surrealism, right? So then now, if you guys are wondering how I went ahead and created these images, right? So there must be some kind of a prompt formula for that, right? So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what that is. So yeah, and the prompt formula for creating uh, absolutely perfect Artistic horizon images are first of all you need to provide in your subject then after that we need to set in the style of and then your artistic style which can be anything right so you guys saw which can be like surrealism uh, which can be like impressionism or which can be African tribal art anything you like so yeah. Uh, this basically will show you how creative you are uh, by putting in your artistic style. Then after that, simply you need to provide in your detailed description, which can include like your uh, subject's appearance, actions, surroundings, lighting condition, and everything. Uh, so after that, you just need to provide your aspect ratio, which in this case will be most of the time 16 by 9 because our abstracts or abstract horizons are mostly in 16 by 9 ratio, all right? All right, so now let's just go ahead and create some cool, amazing uh, after horizons with that and I'm gonna go ahead and name each of them one by one just so you know give you a few examples that what I'm talking about and how beautifully uh, mid journey is gonna create them for you right so first of all uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create man in the style of cubism and now if you guys are wondering how I'm creating these examples and I'm creating these prompts right so yeah, that is really, really simple once again, because you guys know my favorite prompt generator for mid-journey is copilot.microsoft.com, right? So yeah, very easily I went ahead and provided prompt to mid-journey that create your mid-journey prompts to create a V6 prompt to transform your artistic horizon. Then it provided me these examples right away by searching it in the web. And then after that, it basically provided create me unique artistic horizon prompts like this. Boom, and said I provided basically a few examples and it gave me more and more examples and similarly you can go ahead and play around and ask for more and more examples for your artistic rises and copilot will do an absolutely fantastic job like if you compare that with chat i think copilot is the best one in that right all right so now i'm going to take all oh, this example man in the style of cubism i'm going to write in my prompt in mid-journey that a man's portrait fragmented into geometric shapes Capturing multiple perspectives at once as features are rearranged in a way that challenges traditional representation uh, embodying the essence of cubism, right? And after that, dash dash aspect ratio 16 by 9, all right? Now, let's just go ahead and hit enter and wait for the output. All right, so take a look at these results, you guys. Wow, these look absolutely perfect. So yeah, now we have a man's portrait 
fragmented into a uh, geometric shape. So guys can see we have clearly geometric shapes uh, in the images. It looks really, really good. So capturing multiple perspectives at once. So his features are rearranged in a way that challenges traditional representation embodying the essence of cubism. So clearly, uh, you guys can see the images turned out really, really good. We have a perfect amount of geometric shapes, patterns in the images that basically describes the abstract horizon, right, you guys? Okay, next, let's just go ahead and type one another prompt. And the title of that is going to be elderly person in the style of realism. This is going to be uh, basically our image now. So aspect ratio 16 by 9. Let's just create that first and then I'll uh, describe you what it's all about. Okay, so now uh, we have uh, the next image which is basically an elderly person sitting in a quiet room reading a book. The scene is rendered with meticulous detail and subdate colors capturing the tranquility of moment in a realistic style. Alright, so you guys can see uh, the image turned out okay. So I, I, I must say uh, it isn't looking that abstract that I wanted that to be. Uh, but the fourth one, yeah, looks good. But other than that, we have some kind of a deformation. Let's try one more example this time. It will be like a dog in a style of pop art. So yeah, this will be our next image. And let's just go ahead and see how it's going to turn out. So I've written a playful dog is form rendered in bold, bright colors and simple shapes. The image is reminiscent of a comic strip or advertisement reflecting the pop art style. All right. And again, dash dash AR 16 by 9. All right, let's just see how uh, it, this image is going to turn out. All right, guys, so here we go. Now we have an amazing image of a playful dog, which is basically in the style of pop art, okay? So yeah, you guys can see this image is basically reminiscent of a comic strip or advertisement, and especially uh, the first and the third images look really, really good, like to the mark, right, you guys? Okay, so now let's just go ahead and jump to some landscapes and these type of images and discover a bit more into abstract horizon to see how they're going to turn out. So first of all, in that, I'm going to go ahead and create a landscape in the style of romanticism, all right? This would be interesting, so I'm going to go ahead and type in my mid-journey prompt that a sweeping landscape of towering mountains and a stormy sky. The scene is imbued with a sense of awe and sublime beauty capturing the emotional intensity of romanticism. All right. And then dash dash AR 16 by 9. Okay. So this is my prompt. Let's see how it's going to turn out. So meanwhile, I basically went ahead and put two more prompts. So which are city life, uh, still life in a style of post-impressionism and cityscape in the style of futurism. Right. So first of all, if we go ahead and see the landscape in the style of romanticism. So yeah, wow. These images are absolutely perfect. Especially take a look at the first one. Yeah, it looks really, really great. And the second one and the third one and the fourth. So you guys can see we clearly have an emotional intensity of romanticism in this abstract. So we have a sweeping landscape of towering mountains and a stormy sky yet. Yeah, that is absolutely fantastic, right, you guys? Okay, so next we have still life in the style of post-impressionism. So you guys can see this one we have in uh, the style of expressive brushwork. So the image captures the artist's emotional response to the subject reflecting the post-impressionist style. So wow, this one looks really, really great. Especially the first, second, and third one. Yeah, looks up to the mark, right, you guys? And the last one, now we have the cityscape in the style of futurism. Like, take a look at this. It's captured in a good amount of, like, dynamic lines and swirling forms. And the image captures the energy and speed of modern life. So yeah, this one is definitely the futuristic style that we want in our cityscape, right? That looks really, really great. All right, now let's just go ahead and see some of the more objects into that. So we're going to discover with flower, bird, fish, like these kind of objects, which are really important uh, in the artistic horizons, as you guys know. So for that, I'm going to input my prompt one by one, and let's just wait for the output, okay? All right, wow. So take a look at these results. First of all, we have flower in the style of Art Nouveau. So we have a close-up, blooming flower. So yeah, the petals are unfurling in the organic flowing lines. Characteristic of art with the flowers, natural beauty is enhanced by intricate patterns, you guys can see, and a harmonious color palette. Especially take a look at the fourth image. It looks really, really great, right? Then the next one we have uh, is some kind of abstract expressionism of a bird. So yeah, it's basically, it's from reduced to a series of energetic brush strokes. So we have brush strokes over here. Some of them are really, uh, to the point, some of them are really, really rough, depending on which one you like. 
So the birds freedom and vitality are exposed to bold colors and spontaneous gestural marks. Wow, looks great, right? Then we have the fish in a style of very minimalism. So yeah, very minimalism painting. If you are into that, especially a first image, because you know, these kind of vintage painting or uh, designs really sell. So yeah, this is a solitary fish swimming in the clear water, very minimalistic style. If you are into these kind of images as well, okay? Okay, so now let's just go ahead and try to create few paintings or abstracts that include patterns because you guys know patterns are the key, right? If you are into patterns, uh, so yeah, these few generations are going to be for you, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and input prom one by one and let's just see the output after that, okay? All right, guys, so first of all, we have an image of a woman in a style of art deco. So yeah, she's wearing a flabber dress adorned with geometric patterns. So yeah, we, you guys can see we have a few of uh, the options over here. So we have realistic one, and then we have some kind of painting. Uh, then the graphic one, like, it's truly up to you which one you like, but we do see the pattern in the dress of the woman and everywhere around the room as well, right? Okay, so next one, uh, we have landscape in the style of pointillism, all right? So a landscape of a serene lake at sunset depicted in the pointillism style. So, uh, I don't know if it makes sense to you guys, but yeah, it's definitely looking like some kind of abstract, some kind of a painting that, you know, some people might like. So yeah, you cannot doubt on that one. But And the third one we have is still life in the style of pop art. So yeah, take a look at this image. So we have a still life of everyday objects, a can of soup, uh, a box of cereal, a bottle of soda, ran in the bold graphic style of pop art. So yeah, yeah, it looks, it looks really good. We have the pop art in these abstracts. And then the next one, we see we have cityscape in the style of cubism. So yeah, this is clearly the perfect definition of patterns in that. So we have a high uh, vintage point rendered in the fragmented geometric style of cubisms. And you guys can see the building and streets are uh, broken up into an area of shapes and patterns and which are creating a complex and you can see a very kind of a dynamic um, composition in that, right? So yeah, there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of how you can uh, create or transform your artistic horizon ability with maturity. So yeah, I really hope this video was helpful to you guys and I hope to see you in some other mid-journey video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.